Well, what a fortnight it's been. We have a new king, a new prime minister, a new government, and there are still huge challenges facing the country. Tonight we are in Grimsby, once the world's largest fishing port. For over 70 years, Labour dominated here, but in 2019, these people here changed all that and voted in a Conservative MP. Tonight, we are going to be discussing how are we going to pay our energy bills? Should we be overturning the ban on fracking? The NHS, Ukraine, and I promise at the end, we look at reasons to be cheerful. Welcome to Question Time. On tonight's panel, we have Government Minister Brendan Clark-Smith. He was one of the first supporters of Liz Truss in her campaign to become PM, now a minister at the Cabinet Office. He's been entrusted with the smooth running of government. Labour's Shadow Health Secretary for nearly a year now, who's recently announced he's writing a memoir about his journey from Council House to House of Commons, West Streeting. Leila Moran has been an MP for over five years and is the first ever of Palestinian descent. She speaks for the Liberal Democrats on foreign affairs. Claire Fox is the director of the free speech think tank Academy of Ideas. She once sat in the European Parliament, a place she wanted the country to leave, and is now a member of the House of Lords, a place she once abolished. Gerard Lyons has long been a leading economist at several major city institutions and is one of the three economists who's been advising the new Prime Minister. So, as well as a new king and a new prime minister, I thought I'd mention we've got a new set as well. We spruce it up a little bit. You can let us know what you think on social media. I'm sure you will. Um, but just as always, having a fair range of views on this program is absolutely critical, not only on our panel, but with our studio audience as well. And you know, sitting there, that you've been selected mainly to represent the voting pattern at the last election of the particular nation that we are in. So, in England, but also we keep in mind uh, local election results and any sustained change in polling as well. It's very good to have you here. We can't wait to hear what you've got to say. And of course, welcome to you at home as well. Do join in the conversation the usual way on social media at BBC Question Time. Right, let's get started, shall we? Our first question tonight is from Emma Hastings Bray. Is the government doing enough to tackle the energy crisis? What do you think, Emma? I think that families up and down the country are struggling. Um, regardless of background and although the government's introduced measures which are helpful um, with the fact that everything else is going up fuel food um, I still think a lot of families will be struggling okay Wes no I don't think they're doing enough frankly and they've got to do two things one is to grip the crisis in front of us to give families the help they need to and businesses the help they need to cope with the rising costs of energy, which are coming on top of rising bills in every other area of life, it feels like at the moment. And they've also got to make sure that in the longer term, we've got our own energy security.